Hello everybody. I said I wouldn't talk about my sister, but I decided to come out about my sister and tell you what's going on. I hope this doesn't get around to the point that she finds out I made this video about her. But, um, yeah, um, so the start of this story is she was always rebellious since she was a young teen, like a preteen. And in high school, she started to get worse. She started to develop an attitude. She would swear at our mom and dad. She would cuff class. She would... Apparently, she said that she would get drunk and have sex with guys. But at the time, she was claiming she was gay. So, I don't know what was going on there. And, um, so, she wasn't very nice to me. She wasn't very nice to her parents. She would tell our parents things they didn't need to know about her relationships with the women. And, yeah. Then she started dating men again, and she ended up in the hospital at 40 North, which is the psych ward, and met this guy there and started dating him. He moved to Calgary. Then she started to date her prom date. And they quickly got married really fast. They weren't even dating long and they just got married. And I don't even think they had a ring or anything. They just all of a sudden quickly got married. And, uh, so he ended up getting arrested for having child porn on his computer and they found hundreds of it on there and she claims he didn't do it as long as at least that's what she's saying I don't know what she knows what she's hiding but she's obviously hiding something because every time someone mentions it she shuns them we just want what's the best for her and she thinks the only person that has the best of her knows the best for her is herself but she doesn't because she's destroying her life by sticking by this guy's side. Turns out that a few, not that long before they got decided to get married, was when the house was raided by the police and they found the child porn on the computers and then they decided to get married after that happened and she was at the house when it happened. So, as far as what's going on right now is that she's not talking to any of us now. I talked to her yesterday and now she won't talk to me anymore because I mentioned him. And... Yeah, so I don't know if she'll ever come around or she'll just hit rock bottom, but whatever the case is, I'm really 
not doing well myself from what she's doing to us and herself. She's destroying her life and ours. Sorry, my nose is itchy. <laughs> um, she thinks his family cares for her. But they only care for him and they're pretending they care for her so she'll stick around when he gets out of jail. So she doesn't eat right. She's very, very skinny and sickly looking. She's not taking care of herself. So I don't know what's going to happen in the future with her. But I have nightmares all the time that she's just like him. And that she wants to kill us, which she doesn't want to kill us. It's just the nightmares that I have about her. But, yeah, um, that's my story. Bye.